joy and cheer, but also stress and long to do lists. Technology can help with those things. Lindsay Thies is live at the Do Space near 72nd and Dodge with the ways they are telling folks to hack the holidays. Lindsay, what does that mean? Well, I love the term hack, right? We, we've, I've seen a lot of times online like BuzzFeed, that kind of stuff. Oh, here's a hack for how to make something easier around the house. So here at the Do Space, they're telling us different ways to hack the holidays. Uh, tons of events going on weekend afternoons uh, where they use some of the technology, like right now we're here in the 3D lab, uh, to help with decorations, maybe Christmas gifts. And the cool part is, is you can use all these really expensive technological tools, and you just have to bring in the materials. So I am here with Brian, and you're going to tell me a little bit something about this thing called an egg bot. And I love it because you're even using some of the things that you guys have designed and putting them in an egg carton. So what is this? How does it work? How does it do the hacking? Yeah, this is great. It's one of our most family-friendly things uh, in the 3D lab. All it takes is a rounded object and a Sharpie pen. And then you have two different motors, one that spins the, the ball or the egg, and another one that controls where the Sharpie goes. So basically, if you can uh, design a file in a type of photo editor, and if you have some Sharpies, you can make an ornament. I love it. And I love that these are, it's, it might be kind of hard to see on screen. This one's a, a Death Star. I'm assuming a Star Wars fan of a younger age might have designed this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but they're all on ping pong balls. So the thing that's nice about these kind of little ornaments is if, if I was to put these on my tree and my dog knocks them over, they are not going to break. I love it. Um, how long does one of these things take? Uh, it only takes a couple of minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's uh, great. And you can build different layers so that you'll have different colors overlapping each other. Um, you can do text and pictures. I love it. I love it. What a kind of kid-friendly way. And again, people just have to bring the ping pong balls and I, I'm assuming like check out time to use one of these things. Yeah, and Perfect. we have a few classes uh, specifically designed for ornaments as well. Wonderful, wonderful. And the other thing that I'm seeing that I think is so cool, and I wish there was smell-o-vision, because it kind of smells like fresh-cut firewood or a fire in here, uh, because of the laser cutter that they use. So this was a uh, pencil box, I'm told, and look at these cool little coasters. And I understand it was part of a project and some classes that these two guys here taught. I'm here with Allie and Grant, correct. correct? And you guys, had, you said you had recently taught something with some kids about laser cutting. Uh, what was that like? It's actually, it's a, a class that's open to everyone. We've had uh, adults and kids alike show up. It's a free oh, class wonderful. they show up and um, we teach them how to go through everything from Illustrator to uh, vector graphics and raster images. And uh, Ollie and I and another lady, Terry, have been helping out doing that. So we're just finishing up uh, cutting out their actual designs that they made in class and um, hopefully getting them back to them soon. Wonderful. I'm going to kind of move you aside, Ali, because yeah, I see here absolutely. some of the other laser cut stuff. So I see a chessboard here and some more ornaments and a really cool Christmas card. I love it. You can even send your, your Christmas cards, if you haven't already, uh, to the family. And this is just paper. How long does something, Ali, how long does something like, whoops, how long does something like this take for the file to get put in and to get printed off? Uh, usually it takes, well, something like this mm -hmm. uh, over here. Uh, that takes about 15 minutes just to do the cut, the outline cuts. Okay. But when we're doing the, these images here for the engraving and the etching on there, uh -huh. that takes a little more time. So a total project like this would take around roughly 20, 25 minutes. So. I love it, though. I mean, it's perfect for the holidays. Nobody likes or everybody likes a gift that is handmade for the holidays. I love it. You got Rudolph, you got your ornaments. There's tons of stuff going on, not only today at the Do Space, but every day. So hang tight. There's something up coming up for the kids at 4.30. Jen, we're live down uh, near 72nd and Dodge. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. All right, Lindsay, I think that's the second story she's done there now. And it just seems like a cool location. Yeah. They have so many neat.